Kelsey Brianna J here with a new buy or buy video. This time I am reviewing Christian Louboutin's one of his lipsticks. I just got one and the one that I got is I got one of the velvet matte lip colors and this one is in Rouge Louboutin and this is how it comes. All the Rouge Louboutins come in a black bullet or a black I don't even know what this thing would be called. Somebody help me out and tell me what this thing is called. But it looks like a... I'm going to call it what it looks like. It looks like a fancy Egyptian bullet. So, <laughs> this thing right here. Let's see. What is the design inspired by? Inspired by? Designer and creator of objects, Christian Louboutin has transformed the everyday lipstick into a woman's magic talisman. This lipstick represents a beautiful object, the art worthy of display yet so intimate as to be worn like a precious jewel. Inspired by Babylonian architecture, the design captures the ornate aesthetics of Middle Eastern antiquities and the Art Deco movement. Okay, so this definitely is a piece of art. I want to put it on my Christmas tree. <laughs> and I mean, it's just beautiful. It has a mixed metal, you know, feel going on. So it's silver here with this design and I'll bring it up closer so you guys can see it. But and then it has like the spikes and then it's a matte lipstick body and it's just beautiful. And it comes with this string here and you can wear it like a necklace um more nine times out of ten not going to go ahead and wear it as a necklace but it's an option you can and i mean it's just a gorgeous gorgeous lipstick it comes in this box they call it a jewelry box so it's just like it's not that you're, you're not only paying for the lipstick you're paying for the overall design and a little bit for the name not even gonna lie so the box that it comes in is this really nice and sleek black and like with a hint of red box. And when you open it, it has his name on the front, Christian Louboutin, like how it does. It looks like the same script that he uses on his shoe boxes. And um, when you open it up, it's housed in this really pretty red, like Christian Louboutin red velvet, um, what do you call this? holding you can hold the lipstick in here so if you don't want to have the lipstick out you can use this and you can use this as a display for you girls who like to display like makeup and your jewelry and shoes and stuff like that that is gorgeous so i only picked up one lipstick to start off with because i wanted to see how i like them because let's not let's not sugarcoat it these lipsticks are expensive they are 90 dollars, and this is by far my most expensive lipstick I, that i've ever purchased but previously last week it was the clay de Pau lipstick that was my most expensive this week is the christian louboutin lipstick and i like that he's pushing the envelope and incorporating his world into the beauty world and so you guys saw when he did the nail polishes I, will, I believe the nail polishes were released like last year so we all saw what he did with nail polishes he made this beautiful design I mean the colors that were chosen for the collection initially were just like basic colors but what we were paying for is the design of the bottle the name and also it just looks luxurious so if you wanted to display this in your room or display it somewhere it would look luxurious like on my my gosh what is that so I really like the design I feel like if you're a beauty junkie you should have at least one of these because I feel like the quality is amazing um, applying the lipstick this is my first time using the lipstick and it applied like silk like butter like it was just very velvety and rich how it applies so it definitely felt luxurious on my lips so it's not like you're just paying for the packaging and then you get a so so product on the inside the lipstick on the inside is just matches the outside so it's just as good and delicious as the outside design so I think you should check them out they have so many different colors they don't have a whole lot of the matte ones but of course this one was the most sought after one it is still on back order I happened to look up. I ordered mine from Sephora, by the way. I happened to look up and I signed up for um, the restock email. So, you guys know on Sephora, when they're out of stock of something and you sign up for the restock email, they will email you when something becomes available. And it's up to you to see the email. They're not going to keep notifying you. You get one notification and it says, hey, it's back in stock. So, it's up to you to click on it and you have to jump on it, especially if it's something that's like really hot in demand. Like, that's 
color they have a ton of different colors but this one is the most sought after one and the hardest one to get and so I was like immediately on it had to check out I had to get this one because I knew if I was going to venture off into the Christian Louboutin lipstick world this had to be my first one like hands down I had to get Rouge Louboutin the matte first like I could not start off with another one I know I, I don't know if that's just me but I just have to start off with the originals the basics and then I can move forward with everything else and that's just like me with his shoes I had to start off with a basic black pair and then after that I could get the the different color ones and stuff and so forth but it's just gorgeous Christian Louboutin is a man well known for his craftsmanship so he did not disappoint with the overall design of the lipstick the quality of the lipstick inside is amazing as well these lipsticks are formulated to last for 24 months honestly I keep using my stuff as long as it smells good so hopefully at the 24 month mark it doesn't start smelling funky because this isn't a color I wear every day I do not wear red lips every day I wear red lips when I'm in the mood for a red lip or if I, I don't know, red lip is kind of like my go-to if I'm going having a special occasion. So if it's something special going on, I always feel like I have to wear red lipstick. That's just me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to actually use it and unbox the lipstick. So here is me actually showing you guys the lipstick in the package. And here it is. Oh, this is so precious. I don't even want to take it out. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So anyways, I'm going to take it out and use it. So here's me unboxing it. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. It has a little tag on it. And I'm taking it out. Okay. Oh wow, it's very heavy. It feels very luxurious. Okay. So this is what we're left with once we pop it open and <gasps> here's my unused lipstick. So I'm just going to show you what a new MAC lipstick looks like in comparison to this new lipstick. Now I'm not comparing the colors or anything like this, but this is a MAC lipstick called Five Alarm. I have never used this lipstick and this one is the Christian Louboutin lipstick. So I'm comparing it about like where it starts. You can see like how the MAC lipstick is thinner and longer. Well, it's about the same length to me, but the Christian Louboutin lipstick is thicker than the MAC lipstick. And both of these are unused lipsticks. So I'm scared. I don't want to use it. I just want it to be perfect forever, my baby. Now it's the moment of truth. It smells nice. Okay, so I'm just going to use it. Or I'm, I think I'm going to take a picture of it and then I'm going to use it. I'm really going to use it. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to use it. <sighs> okay, I'm doing it. I'm being brave. I'm going to use it. <laughs> oh. I'm using a lip brush because I'm not using lip liner because I want you guys to see the true color. I feel like this lipstick is like ridiculously luxurious. Like it feels so nice and lush on the lips and I'm immediately a big fan. Like it feels so nice and honestly I could have stopped a while ago as far as like swiping because with one swipe I got full opacity from the lipstick so I really really am kind of blown away with how good they are um, let me show you guys I pulled two lipsticks from my collection to compare this to. to compare this lipstick I pulled a Chanel lipstick and I also pulled a MAC lipstick so um 
I'm comparing them to other like really like re readily available reds. I have a ton of red lipsticks in my collection, but these the ones that I'm comparing it to are more so like just the classic red lipsticks that I feel like are still available. So if you guys don't want to get this lipstick, then perhaps you would want to check out one of the other two that I'm showing you. So I have the lipstick on my lips right now. So I'm going to do a swatch of it. So here's Rouge Louboutin on my hands. So you guys can see that is really opaque and nice. So firstly, everybody knows about Max most, like this is Max most popular lipstick of all time, Ruby Woo. So it's still number one. This is Max number one seller, Ruby Woo lipstick. So everybody is familiar with it. Most of you probably own this lipstick. So I wanted to just compare it to that. So you can see that both of them are really nice blue based reds. Both of them are matte in formula. And I want to swatch Ruby Woo next to Rouge Louboutin so you guys can see how they look slightly different. So here's Rouge Louboutin right here and here's Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo is $17. So if you're not wanting to indulge in the luxuriousness of Christian Louboutin just yet and you're literally just buying something for the color then you can just go ahead and get Ruby Woo and you'll be just fine. It's a matte lipstick. It gives the same feel. It feels really nice on the lips. It's a little bit drier than Rouge Louboutin. Rouge Louboutin is a matte lipstick, but it feels really moisturizing and comfortable on the lips. Sometimes Ruby Woo just feels really, really dry. And for reference, I'm not a person to wear lip primer because I don't have like overly dry lips. I feel like my lips are just fine without it. So I don't typically get a lip primer or use lip primer for myself most of the time. Um, so you can see the difference in color is very slight. Um, Rouge Louboutin is a hint darker and it has like more of a sex appeal red to me. But Ruby Woo is a nice classic American beauty red. Okay, so next, this one is my baby. Okay, so this is a Chanel lipstick that I've had for a little while. And Chanel lipsticks come with the C's here. And this one is really nice too. I really like the design of Chanel lipsticks. Again, I believe these lipsticks are around like 30 five forty dollar ish so it's significantly less expensive than Christian Louboutin both of these are luxury luxury brands so this is probably one of the most inexpensive things you can get from Chanel because if you're venturing off into the accessories then you a, pro, a bag could range five thousand dollars for you you know what I mean so both of these are definitely luxury brands so Chris um Chanel has price pointed their cosmetic brand a little bit lower than Christian Louboutin so this is about forty dollars and so this one pops out and you can pull it out like this and this color is number 38 and and I say this one is my baby because anytime I've had to do something difficult like as far like pageants or speeches or anything like that this is my go-to lipstick so I want to say like this is like my lucky lipstick because it's gotten me through a lot of things but anyways so I wanted to compare it to the Chanel lipstick I mean the Rouge Louboutin lipstick again both of these lipsticks are really nice. The Chanel lipstick is a matte lipstick as well, but it's a little bit more glossy for it to be a matte lipstick. Okay, so let me do a swatch of this lipstick to compare it for you. Lipsticks are very similar in color, but like I said, the Chanel lipstick is a tad bit glossier, even though it is in the Chanel matte family. And this one is 38 La Fascinate. So I really like them. All three of these lipsticks are different, but I just want to give you something to compare it to. So if you're looking for a luxurious lipstick, you might want to go for the Chanel if you don't want to have shell out $100 on the Louboutin ones. But like I said, if you're a lover of makeup and beauty and you have luxury lipsticks, you got to get at least one. And I think you should get this one because it's like... Christian Louboutin is known for the red bottom. So you got to get the red one. You just got to get the red one. They have different finishes. So if you don't like matte, then they have one that's the silky one, and which is kind of like a satin. And then they have one that's a sheer one. I don't know. 
I haven't seen the lipstick display in person and I know they sell it like at Saks and stuff like that and I'll be in Atlanta in a few weeks so I'll definitely stop by Saks and look at the display and see like if there's any other ones I want to grab but as far as as far as right now I see a few online I'm thinking about getting because I'm impressed I'm impressed and it, it takes a lot to impress somebody if they're spending a hundred dollars on a lipstick I'm just saying so stop by I don't know if I, I like what was I saying oh yeah I was saying about the sheer lipsticks I want to check out a few of the satin lipsticks I definitely have a few more of the matte lipsticks on my list but the Something about paying $100 for a sheer lipstick, I just can't get with it. I feel like if you want a sheer lipstick, you can go to MAC and get a luster lipstick and it's $17. But that's just me. I don't know. I haven't seen them in person, so I'll definitely stop by the counter and see what I think. And I'll let you guys know, of course, if I pick up any more. But for now, the verdict is, is that I love it. I feel like it's totally worth it. And you should treat yourself. If you want to put it on your Christmas list, fine. I, what I'm thinking though is that a lot of people are going to have it on their Christmas list and it's going to be hard to find around the holiday season. So if you want it, I think you should get it if you can if you can get your hands on it. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on it. So I'm happy I have it. I'm happy I have it. They sell these at all like main big house. So like Nordstrom, Saks, Barney's, all those type of fancier department stores have them so your macy's and uh dillard's and stuff aren't gonna have them but like the more luxurious brands i mean the more luxurious department stores are going to have them so i hope this video was informative and helpful for anybody who was thinking about purchasing a christian louboutin lipstick you have my blessing girl go get it it's good it's not a waste of money it's it's good so let me know which one you guys, which ones you guys are thinking about, or if you're like, girl, I'm not paying $190 for a lipstick. Like, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Smooches!